Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, so it's around 2.30 p.m., you're stuck at work, and you're desperate to get away for a coffee because your boss is breathing down your neck for, I don't know, a line graph or something. But suddenly, you glance down at your keyboard and you get an idea. What would happen if I actually hit that key? So you spring into action, mashing your index finger down on it, and as it bottoms out, your boss freezes, and a delightful coffee appears right in front of you. Pause break, am I right? Well, no, no, I'm not right. So what is the break button actually there for then? I mean, unlike the scroll lock key, which you can learn more about up here, it doesn't even toggle that little light on your keyboard. Well, the origins of the break key actually go all the way back to the 1800s, when zesty memes were sent via telegraph rather than the internet. Back then, if two people were communicating via teleprinter, one person could press break to break the circuit, which effectively interrupted the sender and let them know that the other end needed to transmit something. This usually happened when one news source that was sharing a telegraph line with others had some breaking news to report. But even though teleprinters have long been obsolete, the break keys stuck around on computer keyboards as a means to stop or terminate a running program. Now this functionality was much more common back before graphical operating systems were a thing, but for fun, you can still use control plus break to terminate a program in DOS or in other text-only environments. But on a more practical note, you might also still see a system administrator using the break key if a PC is connected to a mainframe and they have to interrupt the boot process to recover a password. But that doesn't have much applicability to you folks at home, does it? So a far more common use for you would be to pause that flow of text you might see on your own computer at boot time, like if you'd like to see BIOS messages that might help you understand or troubleshoot any issues you're having. Now, it doesn't work on every PC, but give it a shot the next time you fire up your system if you're curious. The pause button will also stop any huge avalanche of text scrolling down your screen if you're using command prompt. And even if you can't be bothered to care about anything that has to do with old school command line computing, there are still two modern applications for pause break. Holding down the Windows key and pressing pause break will bring up your system properties screen. And some games will let you press pause to pause your gameplay. Makes sense, right? It does make me wonder why that isn't the standard. But even if your favorite game doesn't use the pause key for this purpose, you can always use hotkey software to make this extraneous button do whatever you'd like, be it in games or in Adobe Premiere. Just whatever you program it to do, don't expect it to bring a halt to those incessant work messages about how you need to find a way to make episodes about obscure keyboard buttons more compelling. Maybe we should have thrown in some more explosions. And speaking of explosions, would you like your internet experience to be more explosive and exciting? Well then, check out TunnelBear VPN, which lets you tunnel to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as if you're in a different country. They have easy-to-use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and a Chrome extension. Just choose a country in the app, turn TunnelBear on, and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection to your new location. When you turn TunnelBear on, two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you can show up as if you're in a different country. TunnelBear lets you bypass all the annoying details that typically come with using a VPN for personal use. There's no need to mess around with port configurations, DNS, or any other router settings. TunnelBear handles all of that for you in the background. They also have a top-rated privacy policy and do not log user activity. Right now, you can try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data with no credit card required. And if you choose to get a year of unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels up here, comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our videos.